banks may eventually create a purely digital currency issued to its citizens. It may not be completely transparent. Balances may only be recorded on ban bank balance sheets. This will probably give even more power to governments and institutions because let me make it clear you won't be able to withdraw money as physical cash if the government decides it doesn't like you perhaps for political reasons it could simply switch off your account and remove your money remittance fees a uh, transfer of money across the world information now can be transferred quickly across the world using the internet. Credit and debit card fees, though, uh, are usually 1% to 3% charged to the merchant, and it's extra if used in foreign countries. Transfer of money can still be costly and time-consuming, up to 12 days in some cases, uh, especially for micro transactions. International payments through a bank to bank transfer require submission of various information such as SWIFT, IBAN, BIC codes, Forex fees, etc. One off payments of more than a uh, thousand US dollars uh, there can be there's probably a, a fee of say 50 to 100 dollars that is bearable uh, but for a small job of say 50 to 200 dollars it may not be worth doing western union transfers uh card to cash can cost more than 10 percent uh, and approximately 2.5 billion people in the developing world still do not have access to basic banking services. And so, a computer science paper was published in 2008 under the pseudonym of Satoshi Nakamoto, and it proposed the creation of a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system that would be referred to as Bitcoin. Okay, so what is Bitcoin? Well, it's been referred to as Web 3.0 or the Internet of Value. Bitcoin is two things. It is a protocol that is an agreed system by which information is shared across a network and a unit of money. It can be divided down to eight decimal places uh, or one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin, which equals one Satoshi. Think about what email did to the postal service and what the internet did to newspapers, publishing, music, television, uh, an aspiring journalist now can publish on the web for free. Okay, so let us consider the internet and email. Uh, Hypertext protocol or HTTP for website addresses appears at the front of sending a HTTP command to transmit a website to you. A simple mail transfer protocol or SMTP uh, sends email, say for example, through a Gmail account to somebody with a Yahoo address. Uh, Google firstly reaches out to the Yahoo server, then it transmits a text file, and finally the Yahoo server says to the user, you've got mail. 